Let me take you on a very special journey, just you, me and the bike. I am at the historical heritage listed Mwilimba train station and this is the beginning of the Northern Rivers Rail Trail. Today I'll be showing you what's called the first stage of this trail that will take you to seven historical train stations. Starting from the trailhead, which is Mwilimba Station, then down to Dun Bible Station. Next up is the station at Stoker's Siding. Then we come to the spectacularly long, dark and very eerie Burringbar Range Tunnel. We then go past Upper Burring Bar Station and across to Burring Bar Station, which was a great pit stop for a brew. Next on the trail was Moo Ball Station. Welcome to Moo Ball. Or if you're fancy, you might pronounce it Mo Ball. We then went through Hulls Road Tunnel and then finally past the last station at Crabs Creek. And that's 24 kilometers of scenic rail trail action that's just waiting to be experienced. Now this is just the first stage and the trail currently comes to an end at Wu Yang Road Bridge. However, this rail trail project is being completed in four stages and when finished, it will be a 132 kilometer journey that will go from Mwilimba and will take you across the scenic regions through to Byron Bay, back across to Lismore, and then finally come to a grand finish at the town of Casino. For this video, however, I just want to show you stage one, which I hope will inspire you to come out and visit this amazing rail trail. From where I live in Logan City, it took me just over one hour to drive to the trail head. When you reach the main road, which is called Tweed Valley Way, you'll be driving along the massive Tweed River, and you'll soon come into view of the imposing Mount Warning in the distance. You'll even drive past the smoking hot sugar mill that's billowing out all its fumes. And once you pass the Ampole petrol station, then you're just about at the trailhead. Okay, good morning. We're going to go on a little biking adventure today. I'm down here in New South Wales, down at Mwilimba, specifically at the Tweed Heads going to be doing the Northern Rivers Rail Trail. I love rail trails. This is a fairly new one. It's being constantly developed. Uh, we're going to do the first section of it. We are here on the road that goes straight to Mwilimba and this is where it all begins. I've parked my car here, just got all my gear ready. You'll see uh, the Tweed Valley Way right there, the IGA, big car parking spot and basically this is where it begins. Just over here in the scrub you will see an old train line right there okay so here we are at ground zero this is where it begins now there's a really nice uh, station that is the proper entry loads of car parking down there i just love parking away from all the crowds the weather's a little bit miserable today i think the uh, storms and rain should hold off till afternoon who knows we'll see so let's get into it Okay, so my time at the moment reads 8.57am. Let's see how we go for time and how we go for mileage. So here's an old crossing. The Northern Rivers Rail Trail. Alright, let's get some more information. Here's all the parking. Just check out the front of it. There you go, Mwilimba Rail Station.
So 132 kilometer trail when it's going to be completed. station. Let's go before all the crowds come. You know I did the Brisbane Valley Rail Trail just last year only like about I don't know four months back and that was brilliant. 161 kilometers of pure rail cycling pleasure. Today, I think this is only like 24 kilometers one way to the end of the current stage. And then we'll come to an end and simply head on back. So it should make it close to, you know, 48, maybe 50 kilometers. We'll see what extra things there are on the way. Whoa, whoa. What's all this about, hey? If we have a look here, this is the first kilometer in. It's got distance markers. So basically our next stop should be Gallery Connection, Dunn Bible Station, Stoker's Siding Station. And it does end up going all the way to Crabs Creek Station. So it's pretty good. It's got emergency phone numbers, your location, your lat longitude, and then the what three words as well. That's another emergency app. It's good to know. Hey, here we've come to our first bridge. Apparently there's a lot of bridges here. Whoa, look at this. At the first bridge, you've got a full on whirlpool. Oh, I ain't swimming in that thing. So straight off the cuff, Northern Rivers has a bitumen path to ride, which is very different to Brisbane Valley Rail Trail which just gets straight into the dirt. Except for when you come into towns. I'm not sure what this sign means, 933. Oh, we're coming up to our first overpass, just up here. It's two kilometers, yay. That's pretty tall, that bridge. Just after the bridge, there's some sort of Licensed cafe brunch and lunch. Oh yeah. And you can see just in the distance at this entry point here, you can see Mount Warning. That by the way is a brilliant mountain to climb all the way to the top. Let's keep going, shall we? We've now left the uh, comfort of bitumen pathways and we're hitting the gravel right now. It's about at the two kilometer mark. Oh wow, check this out. This is beautiful. That's such a beautiful lush rainforest right here. Hey, there's a bush turkey doing the rail trail. Mate, you're going off track, buddy. The path's up this way. Okay, this is probably the first long bridge. This is just after five kilometers. It goes over a little creek. Looks like we're coming to a station just up here. That's really cool. This is Dunn Bible Station. 
Now it says Dun Bible means the black apple tree in the local Bunjalung dialect. The next one will be Stoker's Siding Station. It says that we're gonna pass over three different bridges. Cool. This is called the Dun Bible Creek Bridge. Hey, this is pretty nice. That's a big creek. And here's a second bridge over a very dry creek. So there's a lot of beware of snakes signs all around the place here. Someone's selling something here. Local produce. Here's another old bridge right here. That's the Stoker Siding Dun Bible Memorial Hall. And this is Stoker Siding. So from Stoker Siding, we are next going to be going to Upper Burring Bar Station. Our next main I don't know, tourist attraction here is the Burring Bar Range Tunnel. It's got no lighting. You must have a light to enter the tunnel. Good thing I've got a mobile phone. At Stoker Siding, you've got a car park there. If this is where you want to start for some reason. Maybe you don't want to do the whole trail and you want to just start from here and head up to the tunnel. That's another idea too. Yeah, there's a house for sale here. If you want to be right beside the rail trail action, this is where you need to come. You just have to cut the grass though. What's this? Someone's doing some stealth camping with a pram. All right, what's the go with that? It's only half done. It's located right beside the Tunnel Road. Yeah, not sure what that, uh, it's probably just fallen apart. Tunnel, one kilometer ahead. The Burring Bar Range Tunnel, 524 meters in length, no lighting inside, and trust me, you need a light. <laughs> Take off your sunnies and put a torch on your bike, or else you'll be crashing into the walls. Very, very cool. Not the crashing part.
Yeah, so this tunnel, it's, it's amazing actually. It's so long. And just when you're looking at it, just from the outside, it doesn't look like you'll lose any light. But as you begin to ride in, only within 20 meters, you lose all visibility, like it's gone. So yeah, I thought, nah, you don't really need a torch. Look, they've got these reflective markers on each side. You can kind of make out and still make your way just, you know, through, just follow the end of the tunnel, follow the light, take a torch, you'll see way easier and uh, your reflectors will highlight much, much quicker and better. And you can always just use a torch up on your phone. And even though it doesn't light much up here, if anyone else is coming down the tunnel, it shows them that you are there, otherwise you'll crash into them. Coming out of the tunnel, we now have a downhill grade, which is great. All the way up to the tunnel, you've got like half a degree, maybe one degree incline going up, so you'll work for it. You get the reward on the other side of the tunnel. This is Upper Burring Bar, some nursery off to my left. Oh, a bit of a downhill dip. to our first park there's some toilets there so that means there's water there all right so here we are at Burring Bar station next station is move all lots of cows like to dance there Hulls Road tunnel Crabs Creek station we'll make it to the end and uh, we'll set up camp for a stealth camp no we're not you got a tap here, which is good. Next stop, move all.
so Barringbar station is the one with the park with the dunnies with the water yeah it's got a bike repair station so it's where you want to go and that can be your point for a stop off all right bridge time again And we got another bridge. There are so many bridges on this rail trail. It's it's awesome. I love it. I love going through puddles as well. And welcome to the massive town of Mooball and it looks like the old train station is just ahead of us here we go Pottsville Road woohoo great there's another little pump for your bike and tap welcome to Mooball apparently it's pronounced Mobile. so we've got a tap here one for your doggy and it's got a bike pump great mate and there's a tunnel 1.8 kilometers down the road i think it's only a small one hulls road but not. let's do it <laughs> there's a roadhouse called the moo moo roadhouse i love it Jeez. Hey, there's a footpath under there, is it? Oh, it's a driveway anyway. And we're almost coming to the end. I just passed the 23 kilometer marker sign. And here are our final bridges, I think. This is Crabs Creek. Here we are, Crabs Creek. All right, 500 meters left, and we'll come to Wu Young Road, and that'll be the end of the line. And it looks like the end of the line just down here. Whew. So this is it. This is the end of the Northern Rivers Trail right now. It's taken me one hour and 44 minutes. It's 25 kilometers. Well, my watch might be out of whack a little. And the time reads 10.38 a.m. in the morning. So that just gives you a bit of an idea, you know, without the fluffing around, maybe an hour and a half. At uh, Crab Creek Station there, there's a challenge there says, can you make it back to Mewillimbar Station in less than an hour? <laughs> So obviously that's the challenge, isn't it? All right, this is great. Like this is a fantastic trail and absolutely loved it.